I'm Christoph Reichenbach from Lund University and I work on software technology, that is on tools that help software developers build better software, take the software that they already have and improve it and find uh, problems in that software. Vara Software is an effort within VASP to take much of the things that we've built in VASP to help software developers and uh, put it into a place where it's easy to find for our industrial partners and conversely for our industrial partners to have a place where they can look for what's out there to also put their solutions out there, uh, put their challenges out there, their software out there and have a platform that they can use to collaborate not only with other uh, with uh, academics but also with other members of the industry and to enable larger collaboration projects. So uh, we currently have students involved from um, LTH and from KTH. The students who work, who've been working on it at LTH have put together a core platform that we use for sharing these kinds of software artifacts that we're interested in. And at KTH, we've had um, some very active work on extending these kinds of ideas to a networked environment where it's then possible to try out tools and uh, benchmark tools that are going to be running on multiple machines. We already have some very, very uh, nice collaboration going on with Ericsson and Saab, and they're wonderful people with very fascinating challenges, but they're only one part of the Swedish software landscape. The Swedish software industry is much uh, broader than that. We have also, let's say, the gaming industry would be very interesting to get involved. We have many uh, Swedish companies that work in various kinds of industrial applications with uh, robotics, for instance. Then we have also the public sector, where we have uh, various kinds of applications that either directly are part of the public infrastructure already or that are built and maintained by companies that serve the public infrastructure, let's say Bank ID or the um, applications that we use in our smartphones for using public transport. And these are not all open source software. So if we could integrate these or parts of these into the benchmarking suite, we could much better serve the public interest in Sweden. Software security is becoming a bigger and bigger problem in Sweden and in the EU and worldwide. And that also means that we need to look with greater focus on what we can do to automatically find vulnerabilities, to automatically fix vulnerabilities, and to limit the scope to which these uh, vulnerabilities can be exploited. And that is very much in line with what we're trying to accomplish in the VARA. It is one of the goals we're trying to achieve. So I hope that we can also provide the VARA as a way to make software safer and more secure and better for the future.